joining us now are Mayor John Giles, Giles of Mesa, Arizona. He's also the chair of the U.S. Conference of Mayors Immigration Reform Task Force, and Mayor Ron Nirenberg of San Antonio, Texas. And Mayor Giles, you signed onto a letter from a bipartisan group, more than 135 mayors calling on Congress to provide these additional funds for border security, humanitarian aid. So how are you going to move forward without the support from Congress? And what do you say to the senators who blocked the bill before it even got to the House? Well, obviously, we're very disappointed. Uh, this was uh, a once-in-a-generation uh, opportunity for us to actually uh, to see something positive come out of Washington on, on immigration. Those of us in border states have been, been begging for something like this for, for decades. So uh, it's hard to express the level of disappointment that we're seeing. Um, what we where we go forward is, I guess, it, you know, it's just uh, back to back to the usual, which is uh, border states. And now you're, you're seeing large northeastern uh, sta uh, cities are going to continue to be inundated uh, with uh, with migrants. Uh, th these these folks are being very carefully coached by drug cartels and they will continue to take advantage of loopholes uh, in our immigration laws and the lack of resources at, at our at our borders. Uh, and this problem is going to go from bad to worse. And, and you're a Republican. I mean, it just seems that there's a disconnect between the Republican Senate leadership in Washington, who, as soon as Donald Trump said that he was against this bill, they, and of course, Speaker Mike Johnson, came out against it. Uh, Mayor Nuremberg, yeah. you know, you're a Democrat. You were calling this bill a step in the right direction. It was opposed by a lot of progressive Democrats, Bernie Sanders and others in the Senate and in the House, all others. Do you have any hope that Congress is going to be able to reach a deal in the future? And what do you want to see in it? You know, no bill on its first draft is perfect, but this is certainly a step in the right direction. What I would tell uh, senators and uh, representatives on, on in both houses is stop insulting the intelligence of the American people. We've had 600,000 migrants come through the city of San Antonio because of the laws that Mayor Giles was describing. They had an opportunity to adjust that, things that they've asked for. Uh, not only did they not do that, they didn't fund uh, cities and dealing with the impacts that that influx causes. So they're doing worse than doing nothing. They're contributing to the impacts that are being felt. Uh, this is not so much a migration crisis as it is a political crisis within the Trump disciples of both houses, and we need to fix that. Have an honest debate about the migration issues, uh, take some steps in the right direction that all of us here have been asking for, speed up processing, provide for work authorizations, do the things that are necessary uh, that people have been calling for. Uh, and in fact, they have been calling for uh, and, and get that done as quickly as possible for the American people. And you, I should point out, you identify yourself as an independent, Mayor Nuremberg, but it just seems to me that you and Mayor Giles, Mayor Giles, you know, how do you deal with the, the influence of the former president on both the House and the Senate, despite their claims and the fact that the senators worked for four months on this? Senator Langford from Oklahoma was leading this, and he's hardly, you know, a liberal. He's a very conservative Republican senator, and he was tr trying to do this on behalf of everyone. Right. right. Well, the, the, the hypocrisy here is, is, is hard to swallow. Uh, I, I'm, I'm from Arizona, and so I, I love quoting uh, uh, John McCain, and, and he's famous for pointing out that when, there, when there's a conflict between what's best for your party and what's best for your country, you have to err on the side of what's best for your country. And so to those members of my party that are in Washington that aren't doing that, I would just uh, hope that they come to realize that they've, rather than being part of the solution, they are the problem. And it's time for them to wake up to that and, 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 uh, and start doing what's best for our country.